Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some Dynasty Warriors Four Empires. We're playing Guan Yu, and we are going to see how far we can take this one. I um, had a pretty good start last time. We just killed a couple of officers. We're doing a pretty long battle. I'm trying to play through these whole levels, and I, I, you know, I know that first one went by super quick, so I was like, well, there's got to be more to it, and I thought this other one was going to be super quick, too, but... Turns out I do have to capture the main camp and not just kill the commander, so that's good. The first one, I think the first one was just like a, hey, get to know this game battle. You know, everybody was super weak. Um, you know, the objective was really straightforward and easy. But um, this, uh, this one, however, this one feels a little bit more like it, you know what I mean? You'll soon regret those words. Uh, alright, let's see. What else we got going on here? There's Lieutenant General that I fought earlier. This does not look good. I don't know. I think I have to... Well, okay, see ya. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother with him. Um, I can't remember if I have to find... You. you know, um... Like, health ups and things around the map, or if that just comes with levels in this... That's the thing, like I say, I was talking about this last time, every game kind of has something different or adds something different to it. Uh, so this one, you know, I'm trying to remember all the ins and outs. I know be if we pull back now. most of the games around this time period, you had to find the health and the Sioux pickups and whatnot, but I don't know if there's actually barrels and stuff around here uh, like there would be normally. Let's see. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just gonna roll on through. I think I'm gonna go this way, or do I want to do the river? I come back for more. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll just go down this way. We'll take over the area and curve back around. around I think that sounds about right. I like to leave a couple of dudes back here. That way the whole, you know, army doesn't just follow me. That just gets... it's so annoying. <laughs> You know, because then people start getting in your way and knocking dudes over. I, it, Dude, I was so frustrated about that in 5 uh, when we played that. Because I would, like, have this guy, and I'd have him on the ropes, and I'd be, like, knocking him around and stuff, combos and whatnot. And, um, you know, just some random no-name officer would come over and hit the guy real quick, get him off balance or out of my rhythm, and then, you know, I'd just be screwed. <laughs> You'd just be totally screwed. <clears throat> Let's see. Do I have to uh, do anything here? Do I just stand here? I thought there was like a captain, but I guess there's not a captain over here. Come on, give me the thing, dude. I guess it won't give me the thing because uh, there's people nearby or whatever. People or whatever. But. That's all right. I'm going to kill these guys and then curl back around. Oh, there's another freaking base over here. Oh, this stuff hurts me, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not good. That is not good. I'm poisoned. I think they are too, though, aren't they? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they aren't. I mean, it's their place. I'd assume they don't take damage from this. Oh, what the hell? Talk about the fantastical things, and here's another one. It's not... It's taking damage pretty quick, though. Oh, my God. Hey, get out of here. Ooh. See? At least they gave me that, though. That's nice. I will defeat you. That's nice. Please be cautious. See, he sees my health, and he's worried about me. God damn. I mean, he has every right to be, apparently, because I'm getting rocked over here. Okay. These guys... This is not your everyday average uh, ass-kicking, let me tell you. I may have to run a little bit. <laughs> this poison is not helping my case, I'll tell you that. It is not helping my case. Also, that Lieutenant General is really just bothering me. He's right there doing all kinds of craziness to me. That's blue, so there might be some health on there. I hope there is. There is health on there. Perfect. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Everything's fine. It's not going to be too much. Wow. Never mind. That did way more than I thought it would. I, you know... 
Perspective is everything, and <laughs> I have no perspective on this game at all. I guess if your health bar was larger, it would feel like less. I, I don't know. But that goes into the whole perspective thing, too. Oh, let's go. Dude, these attack ups are so clutch. Like, if you can get them somehow... Oh my god, they're good. They are so good. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. I played this uh, game on stream a couple of times. And it was just so funny how many people would come in and be like, Oh my god, I haven't seen this in so long. And it's like, yeah, tell me about it. I was literally, you know, coming home from school a after, you know, a long day doing homework and playing this. Like, that's how long ago this was. It was, you know, school bus times. <laughs> it's crazy. That is saying a lot for sure. School bus times, dude. We That's, you know, when you get older and you measure stuff and like... Well, was I riding a school bus at the time, or, you know, was I walking, was I driving? <laughs> it's like, God, major life events taking place. They just dot our lives, right? And we just kind of use them as pillars, benchmarks for, every, you know, like, every day is pretty special if you think about it. And yet, you know, we're over here like, oh, well, did I get married that day, or week, or whatever? Was that my birthday when I turned 30? Huh. Then I don't remember a damn thing about it. It's like, okay. You know, and I get it. Those events are memorable and stuff like that, but God, like... Taken the enemy how much down. happens? How much happens every day that's awesome that we don't even... We don't even bat an eye at, you know? Is this gonna freaking give me some health or what? I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I guess it's also different when you're working. Like, I'm not working at the moment. So, you know, if I was working, you know, I'd just feel like work. It'd feel like, okay, well, you know, everyday life, whatever. But this is something special. Like, creating stuff is something special. So it's like, man, maybe, uh, maybe that's why it feels a little different for me, you know? Because every day it's, yeah, I get up and I do the thing. Like, I work hard, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say, like, oh, yeah, it's all fun and games, because it's not at all. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, like, we're playing games it is all fun and games if you know what i mean i just think it's it's interesting you get that dichotomy you know that like hey i um i go to work every day and it's like i just do stuff i don't necessarily want to do you know the days are tougher it's influenced by outside factors things like that uh you know there's sometimes unfair standards put on you uh you know whatever i mean there's good there's bad and the, you know the good is like hey i don't have to think about it you know, I can literally motivate myself within my work, and it's guaranteed, you know, like, I get the same paycheck every week, right? Here, it's like, you don't know what's happening week to week, but you get to, you know, you get to work on stuff you want to work on, and that's awesome, but, you know, you also have to be able to stomach, like, the, hey, you can't just clock out, you know? If you want to really make this happen, I mean, if you're awake, you're doing stuff, you know? Like, that's, that's kind of how I've been looking at this recently. Because, you know, I figure this might just be temporary, you know? I, I'll definitely keep pumping out content as much as I can. I don't you know, I don't ever plan on stopping that. But, you know, if I do work uh, and, you know, have to start up again, which, again, that could be temporary, too, until I get in a better spot with this. Um, but, you know, just realistically, like, if, if people are going to support this and help me out, I'm not going to just take it easy and just be lazy about it, you know? No, I'm waking up. I'm going to be working 18 hours a day, you know, seven days a week. So there's no like, oh, I just come home and unplug. You know, when you go to work, you come home, you unplug. You're just doing whatever you want to do. If you want to stream, you can stream. If you want to watch a movie, you can watch a movie. But here, it's like, no, I want to stream. I want to connect with people. I want to make stuff and do whatever I can. Um, you know, so I think that's a huge thing that people... You know, that want to give this a, a real shot, don't understand. It's something, like I said, I was never... I didn't really choose this life, you know? I just enjoyed it a lot, and then just happened to, you know, be put in this spot with the, you know, the job and everything like that. So I was kind of like, okay, well, we'll give it the best shot we can, you know? Why not? And uh, I just, I think I owe it to anybody that has supported as well as myself. And I know a lot of people are going to say, like, oh, you don't owe us shit, you know, you do this and you work hard and whatever. But it's like, no, I, I feel like 
I don't want to just wake up every day and say, oh, yeah, I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. I make my own schedule, whatever. It's like, yes, I do make my own schedule. However, I want it to make sense also, you know? I want it to be good for everybody involved, or at least as much as I can make it, you know, good for everybody involved. I just think it's funny when people get online and they it's just assume, hey, I'm online, so, you know, if I just stream a bunch, I'm good. If I just make a bunch of videos, I'm good. And it's like, that's not the case, you know? You have to, like, try. You have to care. You know, it's not a business necessarily, but it is at the same time, you know? Okay, I guess I just, yeah, cool. We took the main camp. Yeah, I always say, you know, you do this, you enjoy this, love it first and treat it like a business second, but those two things have to happen, you know? Like, if I call out of my own thing, like, if, let's say I didn't, I felt like not recording this whole month or whatever, you know, and then what, I, I just don't have stuff to come out, like, that would be, you know, brutal. I mean, I would, if I was my own boss, I would probably write myself up, you know, so you got to think about it like that. I don't know where, how I even got on this tangent, but <laughs> it's just so funny because I can keep talking about it for hours and hours. It's so funny. It's so funny. little insight into the life, the day in the life. I should do a day in the life video, you know? Not to, like, you know. I don't want an herbal remedy. Not to, like, you know, show, oh, hey, feel bad for me or feel good for me or you know, show off or whatever. It's just like, you know, I, th I think it's interesting. I think people are probably pretty interesting about that. Or interested in that, I should say. Yes, sir. This guy's stuff is okay. It's not great, but it's it makes sense for me, you know. Oh, I'm being attacked? Weird. Alright. Guan Yu is going... I saw Lu Bu just decided he's done with my shit, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and defend our area. And, uh, you know what? This guy could Sugma, honestly. Although I am a oh man, I am afraid of uh, fighting Lu Bu, but it is what it is. He's just gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Uh, my weapon and my tiger amulet's gone, so that kind of blows. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Our strength is equal to the enemy. This they level are... is huge. Twisty, windy, huge, ugly, and probably really hard to get around, so I suppose I'm just going to try and, yeah, you know what, I'm going to go to this, where that blue is spilling out into that big part down there, I'm going to go there and go up and around, I think. Looks like I'll be meeting an officer somewhere around there anyway, but yeah, strategy in this game is essentially just try to get somewhere before the other people get there, because... Everybody's going to be moving in different directions, and you can kind of, like, peel them off depending on where you're going and showing. But, um, it's never, you know, it's never what you expect. Luckily, it looks like this officer on the map is going down towards where I am, so we should be okay. I really don't want to mess with Lubu. We only have 14 minutes to defend this place, though, so that's okay. You know, it's not that big a dill pickle. Big deal. Just got to survive, essentially. All right, what do we got here? Who who's coming up here? I will defeat you. Okay. Well, come defeat me. Come defeat me, sir. You solo dude. There's all his buddies. Okay, now my my auto aim is going somewhere else. Guan Xing. Alright. Yeah, I, the Masu, like, I don't even care about the damage as much as I just care about throwing people off balance. When I was growing up, I used to think, like, oh, I should just use that to do damage to people, but it's like, nah. Nah, that is that is not the best move here. You take that, you save it, so if somebody gets you in a lock or, you know, you're getting close to death. Oh, there are fucking sorceresses here? I forgot all about them. That's annoying. It's not as bad as, you know, getting frozen solid like that other game, but man, they are still annoying as hell. Although they might freeze you, I don't know, I just saw the ice come out. I just remember the poison ones. 
All right, I'm up on something. I don't know. I don't know what the hell this map. I don't remember this map at all, like in any Dynasty Warriors. And I, I'm never over on this side. I usually pick the other side for no reason at all, really. I'm not sure if the techs randomly spawn too, or if it's just like, you know, I'm sure there's something like that. But it is what it is. Come here. Ow. So many archers, man. <laughs> Ow. Please stop it. Stop hitting me. Where are all our guys, too? I mean, are they just doing anything? They're, look, they're just dancing around this dude. And I got archers just all over. I mean, they literally had me in like a freaking triangle passing <laughs> formation over here. Ooh, beautiful. Big meat. I like big meat. And on that note, I guess we'll end this one. Guys, thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate you very much. Uh, thank you for sitting through my my tangents, my talkings, my whatnots. Um, you know, it's amazing hanging out with you all. And uh, I just I can't thank you enough. Everybody who supports this, everybody who is my friend and wants to hang out, or even if you don't want to hang out and you just enjoy being my friend. It means a lot to me. So definitely take it easy. Have a good one. And I will see you in the next one, y'all.